CBDCs truly are, are the key that unlocks Revelation 13, 17. How can they prevent you from buying or selling something? CBDCs is how they can do that. This is happening. This is happening right now. Um, they're laying the groundwork to put this in effect and no one seems to know about it. And you know, uh, Ivan had sent me some things from uh, this lady that was from the Seventh-day Adventist, Adventist Regal Law. And I, I was particularly struck by this quote. And I thought, you know, this is really prophetic. She said, she who expects to come, become a mother should keep her soul in love in the love of God. Her mind should be at peace. She should rest in the love of Jesus, practicing the words of Christ. She should remember that the mother is a laborer together with God. Like the Bible Sabbath is meant to be a day in which heals the relationships with God, ourselves, and with others, and with the world. The main push from this encyclical ultimately is so that the climate would be healed, but the solution is on a day of worship. Ellen G. White said, the only hope of better things is the education of people and right principles. I love this quote, it's my very favorite quote by her. Because it's so true. If we don't have the right principles, then we will be highly deceived. I didn't really feel good about this religion anymore. And without meaning to, I found that I had just kind of quit meditating, doing yoga, and other Hindu practices. So at this point, my question was, can I really continue calling the exercises I was teaching people yoga? Would I even want to? I emailed Ivan my arguments and background to see what he would say. What he revealed to me about these practices in his email was very eye-opening. The information that he was about to reveal to me would end up being the final straw and the main reasons why I could never go back to yoga. Next question, isn't yoga just stretching, Ivan? Yoga, there are actually eight limbs in yoga. And uh, one of the limbs is the asana, which is stretching slash postures. And uh, so the postures have a meaning to it. So there is a physical expression of worship and not just stretching in the context of yoga. Thank you.